Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this particular video, we are going to discuss about one data engineering project that is on building a real-time streaming platform for car incident. My name is Tarshil and I'm a freelance data engineer. I've been working in this field for last 5 years. I mainly create content around data engineering. So if you are someone who wants to learn about data engineering, then you can follow me. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about one of the data engineering and one of the most important and interesting project in the space of data engineering is building a real-time streaming platform for car incident. Now, when we talk about real-time streaming, we have different applications running in our brain. Now, one of the application is widely used is Google Maps. So when you want to visit any restaurant or when you want to go to any place, you can literally track your each and every movement while you walk or while you drag your car and Google Maps will give you your live location. So this is one of the application of real-time streaming. So in this particular video, we will be looking into how this real-time streaming application actually works. And I will also give you the overview of how these services work together and how you can build your own real-time streaming application. So this video is just an overview. So I will give you the overview of this particular project. But if you want to do this particular project and execute this entire project by yourself, then you can go to projectpro.io. You will find more than 200 projects available on the website. So if you are someone who is a beginner and learning skill set, then one of the best way to learn anything is by doing hands-on practice and doing a project can really help you to learn these things in detail so if you really want to do the hands-on practice and execute this project end to end then you can go to projectpro.io and sign up so as we already discussed our today's video's topic is building a real-time streaming platform for car accidents let's consider the problem okay so generally any project starts with the problem you don't worry about a data set or anything else number one goal of any data project is to solve a problem using data so before even looking at the data you need to first identify the problem that you want to solve so in our case we are basically building a real-time tracking system for government agency so let's say some accident happened on the road or some fire has occurred at some particular building so in the normal scenario you will dial some emergency contact and get help but in our case we are planning to build the entire system by ourselves so, so if any accident happens on the road or any fire has occurred then we want some kind of a system that gives us the real-time updates about all of those things so if any person wants to contact us we should be able to take actions in few seconds because if some accident happened and if we take actions after one hour then it might be too late so we need to take actions within seconds so most of the old system we see are designed on constant pattern number one is they are not scalable so if the size of the data increases or some kind of peak happens they might not be able to scale and you might not get the data in the right way second thing is latency increases with the peak so let's say you have the limited size of the server and if there, there are like a lot of accidents happening at the same time as the peak increases you will get the latency in the data and you might not receive the data on time and if there is a latency in data then it is completely useless so if some accident happens and you don't receive the data in within few seconds rather than you receive data after few hours then it might be too late so by keeping all of these things in mind we need to build a real-time streaming platform that gives us all of this information within few seconds now this is what the basic life cycle of the data looks like so at the start you have the real-time data or the data that comes into few seconds so these data are time critical decisions so as you already discussed if some accident happened then we need to make sure that we take actions within few seconds so these are really important in those scenario then we have some other data such as reactive data or historical data. If you want to analyze last three years of record, then you can use the historical data of the months or years and take actions based on that. So there are different types of data. One is the historical data that is mainly used for analytical purposes. And then there are some data in real time that needs action on immediate case. So we need to make sure when the event occurs, we should be able to resolve that particular event or take some kind of action behind that event. So before even starting any project, we need to define the goals and success criteria for that particular project number one thing in the data engineering project is the ingestion part so the data might be coming from the multiple sources so we need to design a system that accepts all of these sources and puts all of those data together then we also need to make sure that our system is reliable and can handle real-time data then we will be building some kind of lake house architecture in order to do the final analytics on historical data we need to make sure our system is scalable 
we will be using aws cloud in this case you can use any cloud it doesn't really matter if you are comfortable with for this particular project we will be using aws cloud and finally we will use some reporting servers so if you want to analyze how many accidents that happened in last two years or three years you can use all of those data and analyze those behavior so now let's talk about what you will learn in this particular project and what type of services you will be using so first of all we need some kind of a streaming data that stimulates real-time streaming behavior so if you if you consider the exact example of stock market data you get the data in real time basis each and every second transaction happens and you get the new transaction in the case of let's say amazon new orders are created each and every second so so these type of data are real time data so we need to build a similar kind of mechanism that produces this data in real time so the main technology we are going to use is amazon kinesis and python so we will be writing our code in python and amazon kinesis is a service available on aws that is used to handle real time data second thing is how to process the incoming data and create a triggering mechanism so you have some data coming that needs some kind of a transformation so you will have to write some kind of etl job and also have some kind of trigger mechanism so anytime the new data arrives it should be able to trigger that transformation job and do that automatically so the main technology behind that is the python apache fling S3 is an object storage, so you can store your data into S3. Then you have AWS SNS. This is the simple notification service. So when something happens, if you want the notification on email or SMS, you can use that service. Then we have AWS Lambda. This is the event based compute system. So you can write your code and execute based on some triggers or some kind of event. We also might use the simple queue service, but we will look that into the architecture diagram. Then at the end, we want to build some kind of dashboard to analyze this data in real time and also the historical data. So the main technology for this we will be using is Amazon Managed Kafka for real time streaming and we will be using Amazon QuickSight for historical analysis. This is what the architecture diagram looks like. So this is what the, our entire system is built. Now we will understand how this entire architecture is executed one by one. So initially we have some kind of data stored on some S3 bucket. So this is the incident data. You can get this data from Kegel.com or any of the data set website. If you buy the project subscription plan, you will get the data from the website only. Then what we will do, we will write some kind of Python code that will generate these data in real time. So we will build our own data set using python code that will be exactly same as the data set we have over here but it will be in the form of real-time streaming we will be using boto3 library that is used to connect with aws s3 so boto3 is a python package available that is used to interact with the aws services now this is the outside of the aws ecosystem now inside the aws ecosystem we have streaming this is kinesis stream so this is basically used to accept all of the streaming data that we will ingest using our python code so amazon kinesis have multiple services one of them is streaming but another is firehose firehose is generally used for some kind of transformation if you want to do or if you want to store your data onto s3 you can use firehose to capture data from amazon kinesis and put that data onto s3 bucket so Firehose is mainly used for that. So what we will do, we will ingest some of our data into Amazon streaming. Then one of the use case, we will use Firehose and put that raw data onto S3 bucket. Second is we will be using Apache Flink. Apache Flink is mainly used for the analytical or if you want to process data into real time and analyze that, you can use Apache Flink. We also want to analyze this data in real time and understand how this data behaves. So we will be using Apache Flink to understand that. On top of that, we will be using AWS Glue. AWS Glue is ETL managed service. This is a serverless service available on Amazon. So if you want to write some kind of transformation job, such as if you want to add two columns and create the new column, or if you want to take some kind of average or sum of some particular column, you can do all of those transformation on AWS Glue. And after the transformation, you can store that particular data onto analytical layer. So when we have the raw layer that will store all of the raw data. And second, we have the analytical layer that is used for analyzing the historical data that we store now to understand that particular data we will be using amazon athena to query that data amazon athena is the presto based interactive query tool so if you know sql you can use sql language to directly query from the file so whatever the file we store into analytical layer after the transformation you can use athena to directly query that file and get the information from that so this is what our analytical layer looks like so this is just for the analytical side for historical processing and understanding second part of the pipeline is still the streaming pipeline to get the data and understanding in real time so what we will do after analyzing our data onto flink we will again ingest that particular data onto amazon kinesis streams 
that will have all of those real time data captured into that particular buffer and then we will put that data onto aws lambda aws lambda again is event based compute system so it works on some kind of event or trigger so whenever new data comes into the amazon stream what it will do it will trigger the lambda code and then it will do something based on the code that we have written inside the lambda so in our case we will directly send the notification to the right particular user so simple notification service sns is used for that so you can add your email if you want to get the notified so in our aws lambda code we will write some kind of function that will directly put all of the information that we get from the streaming information and notify the right user based on the accident that has occurred so this will make sure that we also store the data for the analytical purposes but also notifies user about the real time things that are happening in the case we also have the aws cloud watch this will basically store all of the logs related to the each and every events that has happened and at the end we can use graphna for analytical purposes so this is what the entire architecture diagram looks like so this particular architecture contains both of the things analytical side of the things and also the real time streaming part of it so you can go to the project pro website you will get everything over here the each and every description about the project you can download the methodology uh, how to install and execute this entire project you will also get the data and the code related to this particular project you can also take notes and these are the project videos you can watch one by one execute your project and learn more from it so this was the entire overview of the project that you are going to do so if you find this video helpful then make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here and want more of this video thank you for watching see you in the next video